Today we'll be reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. It was released in 2003 and is rated PG-13. It is a rather long movie, it's over two hours. It's very good though. So the movie summary, uh, blacksmith Will Turner teams up with eccentric pirate captain Jack Sparrow to save his love, the governor's daughter, from Jack's former pirate allies who are now undead. So really, truthfully, uh, the Black Pearl crew are zombie pirates. Those are, of course, the best type of pirates. The fact that they have quotations around captain, uh, I don't really agree with. Jack Sparrow is definitely a captain. Regardless, he, at the very beginning, comes in on the very tip top of the mast in the crow's nest there, but still captaining a ship. He did used to captain the Black Pearl. So in this movie, we have Johnny Depp playing Captain Jack Sparrow. There's Jeffrey Rush playing uh, Barbosa, the rival pirate captain. Orlando Bloom is Will Turner, uh, the son of a blacksmith who was rescued by Elizabeth Swan, played by Kira Knightley. The Black Pearl isn't a pearl that's colored black. It's actually a ship that Jack used to be the captain of until his crew mutinied against him. When that happened, uh, there was actually someone that didn't like it. It was Bootstrap Bill. He ended up being Will Turner's father. So Elizabeth Swan was wearing the gold medallion that she had uh, taken from Will Turner when he was a child. And she then is proposed to by the Commodore. And uh, I'm not sure if it was fake or not, but it looked rather ridiculous. Uh, she has a little fainting spell, and she tumbles over the wall into the water below very narrowly avoiding the rocks. Uh, when the medallion hits the water, there is like a shockwave that's sent out. When that shockwave goes out, that's what uh, signals the Black Pearl and uh, kind of draws out Balbosa and his pirate crew and draws them to the port where uh, Jack Sparrow is and Elizabeth Swan and William Turner and that's how the story begins. When Balbosa's crew uh, from the Black Pearl gets into the area. They do go after Elizabeth. The reason being is because that's where the medallion is and that's what they're needing to break the curse. So they ransack into her house. When asked her name she says Elizabeth Turner which she thinks might be good. She may believe she's being taken for the fact that she's being the governor's daughter. So saying Elizabeth Turner may have been a smart idea to her. In fact they're looking for uh, they're looking for Bootstrap Bill's son or uh, lineage that they need his blood and that's why they actually take Elizabeth Swan capture because she says she's Elizabeth Turner so honesty would have been the best policy it's what we learned from this movie due to Elizabeth invoking parlay which is in the pirate code I guess uh, means that they can't be harmed until they speak with the captain of the ship so Elizabeth has bought her safety to, until she is to see Balbosa so she ends up getting taken aboard the ship, and that's why Jack Sparrow and Will Turner team up, as unlikely as that is, especially since we had just seen that sword fight in the previous scene. So Will Turner and Jack Sparrow team up, uh, Will Turner saying, saying, I will die for her, indicating, or meaning, Elizabeth Swan, he will die for her. So Jack Sparrow and Will Turner go to uh, Tortuga to look for a crew. And they want to take the Black Pearl from Balbosa because it was Captain Jack's ship. And then they mutinied and marooned him on an island. There were 182 pieces of this Aztec gold. I guess it was uh, Cortez's gold. The gold was cursed, so to repay the full debt, all the pieces must be returned. When hearing this, Elizabeth does give the gold over to Balbosa, which is the only other, <laughs> which is the only leverage she had. So. Not a smart choice. So Babosa has Elizabeth Swan on the Black Pearl, and he thinks that she's the ticket to getting out of this eternal hell uh, because of her being a Turner with the gold. So when Babosa does try to return the gold to the chest and repay the debt with a bit of uh, Elizabeth Turner blood, she, it does not work due to the fact that she's Elizabeth Swan, and they do have to have the blood of a Turner. So then that's when they realize she's a fake. Will Turner has learned that Bootstrap Bill was his father and uh, he actually disagreed with the mutiny that occurred on Jack Sparrow 
and for that he was uh, made to walk the plank from Balbosa. Elizabeth Swan and Jack Sparrow are both set free, um, but they didn't choose a time and place, so they're set free in the middle of the ocean next to the island that Jack had previously been marooned on. He has a story how he escaped from this island where he's taking two sea turtles and tying them together and then riding them to freedom. Because it's the same island that Elizabeth Swan and Jack are now on, Elizabeth expects him to be able to do something to get them right off the island. And that's the time Jack is finally honest and says an island that it was used by rum runners back in the day. So he bartered with them when they appeared. He had only been on the island for about three days. They have a good night, lots of rum is consumed. It looks like Jack might even get a chance to get inside the corset, um, but then she friends him. He uh, passes out, and when he wakes up, she is burning and has burned most of the rum and everything else that was delightful on this island. She says she's doing it for the uh, flame, and the signal was, I believe, something like over a thousand feet high, which I don't know what they measured with back in the day. I'm pretty sure it's inaccurate, though, a thousand feet high. Um, it does work, though, and the uh, the Navy does find her and Jack. And then in the final confrontation uh, between Jack Sparrow and Balbosa, it looks like Balbosa gave him the upper hand. He stabs Jack Sparrow right through, but then Jack Sparrow walks into the moonlight, and when you walk into the moonlight, it reveals the truth. And Jack had snatched one of the coins when he was looking into the uh, treasure chest earlier, causing him to now be part of the curse, meaning the stab was not fatal. During Jack Sparrow and Balbosa's fight, Will Turner gets into a position next to the treasure chest where he needs to be because it has to be his blood. When he's in position, Jack tosses him the medallion, and then Turner cuts his hand and drops it in with his blood. Just before that, uh, Jack Sparrow uses his single shot left that he'd been given when marooned on the island the original time. He uses it, shoots Balbosa right where his beating heart would be if he was alive. So when Turner drops in the uh, gold medallion, Balbosa has finally served his fatal shot. And then you start to see the blood coming out of the bullet hole. That's really the end of the pirate part of the movie. After that, it kind of turned more back into the Disney love story that you come to expect from most Disney movies. Elizabeth Swan ends up falling for Will Turner. Elizabeth Swan actually turns down the Commodore's proposal, uh, which seems to be something that Governor approves of. Jack Sparrow escaped with the assistance of Will Turner in a one little final fight scene. He escapes falling over the wall, much like Elizabeth Swan did and then he returns to his post as captain of the Black Pearl to sail another day. For this movie being over two hours, uh, there were some parts of the, of the movie the pacing did seem a little off, or there were times where I feel like if they had uh, wanted to, they could have slimmed it down perhaps another 10-20 minutes, put it at the two hour mark. For this movie, I would give it a 7 out of 10. The uh, sword play is quite good and it looks very realistic. The CGI is very good. Some of my favorite parts of the movie. The Commodore says that Jack Sparrow is the worst pirate he's ever heard of. However, Jack Sparrow is a very notorious pirate and he has a very long list of crimes for not being a very good pirate. Uh, here are his summary. He has numerous and sinister crimes against the crown, smuggling, forgery, Sailing under false colors, looting, poaching, brandage, depravity, vandalism, impersonating a Royal Navy and other British and Spanish officers and a clergyman, arson, kidnapping, piracy in the Caribbean Sea, perjury, theft, and ransacking a rum shipment. Now I'd say it makes him a pretty good pirate. The sword play was one of the uh, highlights in the movie. There's uh, the sword fight between Jack Sparrow and Will Turner in the blacksmith workshop. This was the second review for Today We Review, and it was Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, for SourceFed Movie Club. You can get at me on Twitter. It's at MadLFan. Or use hashtag TodayWeReview. I'll be sure to look at them.